Hey guys, so in today's video, we'll be going over 12 ChatGPT hacks that will blow your mind. Ever since I started implementing ChatGPT into my own life, I've become more productive, I've made more money, and just everything has been easier. Everything we're talking about in this video can be done directly on ChatGPT. There's no need for additional plugins or anything like that. So grab out a notebook, take some notes, and I guarantee you, if you implement these things, your life will change. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do is, of course, create a ChatGPT account, which is really easy. And you may be thinking, should I just have a free account or should I pay for ChatGPT Plus? That's really up to you guys. But in this video, I'll show you guys how to use everything on the free version of ChatGPT. Yes, the paid version does have some perks, but really the free version is good enough. Now, the first way I want you guys to implement ChatGPT into your life is using it as a personal assistant. You might be thinking, OK, only rich people can have personal assistants, but that's not the case anymore. With ChatGPT, literally everyone can have their own personal assistant for completely free and not only are they free they're super smart and they are available 24 7. now in terms of what tasks you can have ChatGPT do for you that mimic a personal assistant we'll be talking about a lot of them within this video but yeah the first point is just think of ChatGPT as your own personal assistant that's always there available to help you for example one way that we can use ChatGPT as our own personal assistant is to have it organize our schedule i'm basically going to write down a bunch of tasks i have for the day and we're going to have ChatGPT use its ai to to actually make it efficient and optimize my schedule. So you're my personal assistant and I'd like you to help me organize my schedule for today. Basically, it's a lot of role playing. So you're telling ChatGPT, this is what you are and this is what I want you to do for me. Then we're gonna provide it a lot of details. So now I added today, I need to work six hours. This can be broken up into different sections. I also need to take my kids to soccer practice from 2.30 to 4 p.m. I also need to run errands for one hour, cook lunch and dinner. And I'd like to watch two hours of Netflix at night. I also like to hit the gym from 9 to 11 a.m. I wake up at 7 a.m. and sleep around 10 p.m. So as you guys can see, I'm giving it a lot of details and let's see what it gives us. So as you guys can see, it's taken those things I put down and created a basically schedule for the entire day. Sometimes it can make some mistakes. For example, it's having me gym from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. when I said 9 to 11. So it's not perfect, but as you guys can see, it fit in a good amount of work into the day, not as much as I wanted, but pretty much everything else is in line with what I wanted. This can really hold you accountable. This is a task that, you know, your own person assistant would probably do for you. And this is just the surface level of what it can do. Pretty much everything else we're talking about in this video is going to apply and you can have your free personal assistant do all those tasks. So make sure to watch until the end of this video. Yeah, essentially, the point is think of ChatGPT as your personal assistant. Now everyone has access to their own personal assistant. So if you're not taking advantage of this, you are missing out on a lot. So the next way we can use ChatGPT to really improve our lives is to use it to summarize content. If you're watching this video, you probably watch a good amount of other content. You probably read a good amount. And the thing is, consuming content takes a lot of time. Sometimes we want everything to be condensed. So that's really quick for us to get through. And really, ChatGPT is perfect, right? We're dealing with text. It's really, really smart. And this can save us a lot of time. Now, I will say if you guys do want ChatGPT to access the internet, you will want to upgrade to ChatGPT+. Plus. That's going to give you that type of power. But there are a lot of workarounds with the free version. For example, let's say I want to read the book, The 4-Hour Work Week, but I don't want to read the entire book. I want a really good summary. So what I'm going to say is, can you help summarize this book into a, let's say, 1000 word summary? OK, so as you guys can see, it's summarizing this for me. It's going to be about a thousand words. And yeah, this is a great way to see if I actually want to read a book. I'll skim through the summary. And if the information resonates with myself, then that's when I actually go and read the entire book. Now, the cool thing is that you can actually ask ChatGPT questions about things that you input. So let's say, can I ask you some questions about. OK. So now it knows what context we're talking about, which book we want to reference. So I'll ask, what does the new rich mean? Bam knows what we're talking about. It knows that we're talking about this book and it's going to give us a pretty detailed summary about what the new rich means. This doesn't work just for books, right? It also works for articles that you read online. So I'm going to copy and paste this article about affiliate marketing. Can you summarize what this text is saying? OK, then we'll enter in the text that we copy and pasted. It's going to go through that text and explain it in a more beginner friendly manner, right? And if we want to actually make it even more simple, we can say, can you redo that, but make it more simple and shorter. So think of it as a conversation with you and someone that's just really smart, right? You can literally talk to it and have it form different thoughts and information just based on what you are inputting. So now we have a summary that's shorter than the one before. You guys can do this with YouTube videos and just copy and paste the transcript onto ChatGPT and have it summarize it for you. Anytime you guys have a block of text, you can have ChatGPT 
summarize it for you. You can ask it questions about that text. And yeah, this has been super, super helpful, especially for people that go through a lot of content. The third way that you guys can use ChatGPT in your life is by using it to help you write emails in your own style. This applies for emails, text, dating apps, Slack messages, literally anytime you have to type something out. So essentially what we can do is we can train ChatGPT on a piece of text. So this is my website. I'm basically going to come here. I'm going to copy this text that I wrote, and then I'm going to come here and say, I want you to help me respond to emails while making it sound like myself. Here is a piece of text that I wrote. We will copy and paste that. Okay. Can you respond to an email to let's say Bill in my writing style? Okay, asking if him and his wife would like to go travel to, let's say Cabo together in December under let's say uh, $200 per night. Make the email casual and under 300 words. Cool. So let's see what it gives us. Bam, honestly, that looks pretty good. It even put in some details about UCLA. So I guess assume that we both went to UCLA based on that text that I inputted. But yeah, the main takeaway here is that you can train ChatGPT to know exactly how you write. Of course, the more text you give it, the more it's going to learn and then have it write for you. This is a great foundation for an email. I can basically copy and paste this into Gmail, change up some of the wording, of course. And yeah, it just saves a lot of time. So yeah, as you guys can see, if you just use ChatGPT for random things like this throughout your entire day, it's going going to really add up and save you a ton of time. So switching from chat GPT hacks to life hacks, I have one for you. If you don't yet have a website, you are missing out on a lot. We're talking income, experiences, business, fun, everything. So my company, My First Website, can help you get started building your first website right now. And it's a completely free service. Just use one of our partners to sign up for web hosting, which by the way, is at an exclusive discount. And my team will help you with your initial website setup. Whether it be a blog, portfolio, resume, or any other type of website, we got you. The link down below and yes we won't offer the service forever so make sure you take advantage of it right now so the next chat gpt hack is using it to help you learn languages honestly i think everyone needs to learn more languages and so something that not a lot of people know is that chat gpt is a great language tutor in fact it's so powerful that sometimes i'm like i don't know if language tutors are going to be relevant anymore sure the speaking portion is better of course than someone else but actually learning vocabulary and learning how to use it this can all be done on chat gpt so let me show you guys how to do this essentially we're gonna be role-playing right so i am trying to learn let's say uh chinese since i am actually learning chinese right now of course replace this with whatever language you want to learn and i want you to be my tutor can you do that right so we're gonna have a little conversation with it now i'm actually gonna pull up some of my vocabulary that i'm learning right now so let's just go through here maybe we can go let's take this i'm gonna copy these five terms and i'm gonna say basically can you you help me learn these Chinese words and show me how to use them in a sentence. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste those. And as you guys can see, it lists out the word. It basically has both the Chinese characters as well as the, you know, English characters. It's using it in a sentence, which I think is extremely important for learning languages. And it shows us the translation. So basically what you guys can do is use ChatGPT to help you figure out how to use different words. You can have it test you on different vocabulary. Just sort of think of it as a real human tutor, okay? You can literally ask it anything and it will basically give you a response. For me, when learning languages, you know, learning the terms itself, memorizing that, it's not that hard. But figuring out how to use that within a sentence, that is the hard part. So something like this can really speed up the learning process. We can even say something like, I'm learning French. Can you have a conversation in French with me? So I wrote something out here. Let's see if it can respond. And yes, it's responding. This is a cool way to have conversations and actually apply the things you're learning, right? I think conversation, that's probably the most important part for most people who want to learn languages. They want to have conversations with the local people. So at any point, any time in the day, you can have a conversation with ChatGPT in a language that you are trying to learn. It's really, really cool. Okay, next is travel planning. For anyone that travels regularly, you know just how stressful it can be to actually create an itinerary, figure out what to do, where to stay. And yeah, ChatGPT can actually do that completely for us. Here's basically what you guys can say. Okay, so I'm planning a trip to Tokyo, Japan and Osaka, Japan from 10 slash 5 until 10 slash 14. Can you help me create an itinerary of what to do? We want to see at least three historical attractions in each city. We want to eat a lot of great food and stay in an affordable hotel near the city centers. Ideally, we want to spend most of our time in Tokyo. We have a budget of 
about $2,000, not including flights. Okay, so let's enter in that. And yeah, as you guys can see, this is basically what we would tell a personal assistant if we wanted them to help us create an itinerary. So again, just think of ChatGPT as your personal assistant that will do any task you ask it to do. And yeah, it's extremely, extremely smart. So as you guys can see, it's created this itinerary. It's given us some recommended places to visit. For example, the Edo Tokyo Museum. It tells us where to eat dinner that day. That's pretty cool. And yeah, this is a great foundation for our itinerary. Of course, you guys can give it feedback. This is something that I really want you guys to know how to do. Can you be more detailed in the itinerary for each day? For days one to three, can you give us a detailed hourly breakdown. So that's a lot to ask, but it can do it. It's not exactly an hourly breakdown, but as you guys can see, it has a lot more detail now. And basically we can pick and choose from this, or we can just literally do it exactly how it is. I find this is a great way to brainstorm for travel planning. It puts a lot of things on your radar. And then basically what we can do is go to Google, search up that attraction, see if it's something that we want to do. And if it is, we'll leave it in the itinerary. But as you guys can see, that literally took like a few seconds. I can keep playing around with this, taking things out, putting things in, asking for more things related to this or that and ChatGPT will help us create a really custom itinerary. So the next thing that you guys can use ChatGPT for is to learn anything in the world. This sort of relates to learning a language of course but basically you can use ChatGPT to learn anything you want in the entire world. And I'll show you guys some examples of how you can use this but of course everyone wants to learn different things so just apply this to the things you want to learn. And I guarantee you it's going to help you learn anything super super fast way more efficiently than if you were to try learning on your own. You are a mentor you're an extremely skilled photographer who specializes in wedding photography, right? So let's say I want to get into wedding photography. I'm assigning this role to ChatGPT. So now I just think of ChatGPT as a person who has a really successful wedding business and I can pretty much ask them any question I want. I'm viewing ChatGPT as my mentor. And the cool thing is I can give it whatever experience and skills I want it to have and bam, it's going to have it. So I already have a camera, but I don't know how to get my first clients. Can you walk me through the process of starting my business? Cool, we'll enter that in. And now it's going to give me sort of like a step-by-step -step plan on the first things I need to do to start this business. It's really, really detailed. It's given me like a 12 plus step plan. It makes sense to develop your skills first and then create a business plan, sure. But if there are any things in here that I want it to elaborate more on, I can basically ask it to elaborate. So let's say I want to build an online presence. Let's say, can you elaborate on step four? Okay, so it's going to talk more about that. It's gonna tell us how we can actually build an online presence, all the different things we can create. So so a website, portfolio, about page, working on SEO, social media. This is really, really good. Now let's change the subject. Let's say I want to learn something. I want to learn how to code in three weeks. Can you give me a learning schedule? I have four hours per day and I want to learn, learn seven days a week. Cool. So now it's gonna give me a complete learning schedule day by day. So we have week one, foundations of programming. We have, let's see, week two, building your skills. And week three, working on actual projects and reviewing them. It's also gonna give us some general tips. But yeah, basically, as you guys can see, we went from trying to learn how to create a photography business to trying to learn how to code. We can just assign these skills to ChatGPT and ask it for recommendations. So just think of it as a person that knows literally everything in the world. Okay, so the next thing that you guys can use ChatGPT for is to create content. If you watch content, there is a chance that you guys also are creating content yourself, whether it be for your business, for your own enjoyment, trying to build your personal brand, whatever it is. The thing is that ChatGPT is so powerful for this. And if you guys aren't using it to speed up your content creation process, you're just wasting a lot of time. So for me, I run a bunch of different YouTube channels. I create content literally everywhere. And one way that we've really been able to be a lot more efficient is by using ChatGPT. So let me show you guys how to use it. First, let's say we're trying to create short form content, right? Let's say we want to do a lot of TikToks about personal finance, for example. I am a TikToker in the personal finance niche. My main audience is people age 18 to, let's say, 30. Can you help me come up with 10 different hooks for my videos? They need to be very engaging and viral. Okay, cool. So let's go. So as you guys can see, it gave us 10 different hooks. This is a hook right here. Turn $5 into $500. Let's talk investing. And it talks about what we actually talk about in that video. Debt free journey, how I paid off blank dollars in student loans. And yeah, this is a great way to brainstorm different hooks and ideas for your videos. We can also use ChatGPT to help us write blog posts. So basically this is a way to do it. Help me write a 500 word blog post 
about fake plants versus real plants. Go over the pros and cons in the end, say that real plants are better. Okay, so I'm giving it some direction for the article. I'm giving it a limit of 500 words and I want it to have the conclusion that real plants are better. Let's hit enter and bam, it's going to actually generate this article in just a few seconds. It also has the verdict that we want it to give. Of course, I don't condone just copying, pasting this onto your blog or wherever you're posting this. What you will want to do is personalize everything that chat GPT gives you. That way you're not really plagiarizing and you're putting your own spin on the material. But yeah, this article, let's say would normally take someone two hours to research and write. It just did it within like five seconds, which is just absolutely crazy. Another way to use chat GPT for content is to input scripts that we have already written and tell us to make it better. So like I said earlier, think of chat GPT as the smartest human mentor, whatever in the world. We can ask it for advice. We can ask it to make things more concise. We can have it add a better hook. Anything you want it to help improve on, it can do. The next way that you guys can use chat GPT is something that not that many people talk about. But yeah, the truth is that a lot of people, they want to have certain conversations, but they don't have those people to actually have those conversations with. For example, when I was in college and after college, I really wanted to brainstorm business, right? Entrepreneurship. However, all of my friends, they were working nine to five jobs. So I couldn't have those conversations with people. Essentially, what you guys can do is assign an identity to ChatGPT and have conversations with that type of person. So let's say you're Elon Musk. I want to have a conversation with you about business. Can you give me advice and stuff like that? So super casual. So it's saying, okay, let's do this. I am now Elon Musk. Okay, how'd you come up with the idea for SpaceX? I want to get inspired by you know his thought process on how he came up with this business idea. So this is really cool because now it's basically going to pretend like you know ChatGPT is Elon and he's telling me a story, right? This can be applied to pretty much any type of conversation you want to have. Let's say you're into spirituality. You are now a spirituality expert. I want to start learning about astrology. Can we have a conversation? Oh, whoops. I said not, but I think it understood what I was trying to say. What do you think about Aries? Do they go well with, let's say, Libras? So now we're basically talking to someone that knows astrology really well. We can have a full on conversation with them. All you need to do is send a message. Can we have a conversation about, let's say, uh, politics? Let's say, I think politics are dumb. Why are people so into politics? politics, just something random. And bam, now we can have a full on conversation about politics, whatever topic we want to talk about, we can basically talk about it with ChatGPT. You can even use ChatGPT sort of like a therapist. It's not going to, of course, replace a real life therapist, but it's a great start. It's completely free. So if you are you know, tight on money, it's a great way to actually talk with someone, talk about your feelings, emotions, whatever it is, and have someone listen to you. Okay, the next thing we can use ChatGPT for is actually having it be our own personal online trainer. So no personal training, it can get quite expensive. But the thing is like before we can basically assign this identity to ChatGPT and ask it to help us create a workout schedule, workout plan, nutrition, a meal schedule, whatever it is. So let's type something out. Okay. So you are a world famous personal trainer role play, and I want you to help me gain 10 pounds of muscle in the next six months. Can you give me a workout schedule to follow? I want to hit the gym three days per week for two hours each session. I want to do cardio and strength exercises. I'm 30 years old and I have no existing injuries. So I'm giving it some context. I'm talking about what types of things I want to actually do. And I'm giving it three days per week, two hours per session. And now it's going to design that workout schedule for us. As you guys can see, it didn't give us exactly three days of workouts per week. So we can tell it to actually fix that, but it gave us a pretty cool, you know, routine, a split that we can follow. We have full body strength and cardio, rest, upper body strength and cardio, rest, lower body strength and cardio, rest again, and another full body strength and cardio. Of course, you know, sometimes these workouts, they may not be perfect. And you'll definitely want to consult with your doctor to see if this is something that is right for you to do. But this is a great way to get an initial workout plan. And I don't know for you guys, but when I have a plan written down on what I'm doing at the gym, it makes the workout a lot better and it makes it way more likely that I'm actually going to go and hold myself accountable. Of course, we can give it feedback. We can say, we don't want to do squats. We want to do leg press instead. We want to do more cardio. We want to do more rows, whatever it is, give it feedback and it's going to customize it based on that feedback. The next way to use chat GPT is to have it actually give you daily affirmations or quotes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really influenced by words. And so having a daily affirmation to read or say or quotes in certain topics, they really help me. So let's say, for example, I'm feeling sort of down. I failed something and I want something to make me feel better about not giving up. 
right? So let's say, give me five quotes about never giving up. So these are some cool quotes that I can read. If I really resonate with one of them, I can write it down. I can, you know, create a poster with it, whatever it is. Let's say I'm feeling low energy. Can you give me five daily affirmations to say in the morning? Bam, it's gonna give us five different affirmations that we can say. I think these actually look really good. A cool way that not a lot of people use ChatGPT for. The next way we can use ChatGPT for our daily lives is to actually brainstorm lists. Now, for most people out there, lists are a very common thing, right? Where are five places we can visit within 20 miles of us? What are the best websites for learning about stock investing? Stuff like that. And basically what we can do is use ChatGPT to brainstorm lists for us. So give me eight of the best websites where I can learn how to invest in stocks. This is going to give us eight different websites. And yeah, these are all really reputable. So I think that's really cool. What are the top five attractions to visit in Southern California? Bam, it's gonna give us Disneyland, okay, Universal Studios, San Diego zoo santa monica pier and hollywood i don't know hollywood i think is probably one of the worst places ever but hey it's listing it so maybe it is popular <laughs> So yeah, anytime you guys want a list of top things or whatever it is, a list of something, I'll just input it into ChatGPT. And it's going to give you a well-researched list you guys can use to sort of narrow down your options. Personally, I do this a lot and it saves me a lot of time. And then next up, a really cool way to use ChatGPT is as a cooking companion. Almost everyone watching this video probably cooks. And so I know an issue that I have is what can I actually cook with the ingredients that I have? So yeah, that's something that we can use ChatGPT to actually answer. You are a world renowned chef. Okay, role play. All right, so I have chicken thigh, basil, tomatoes, and eggplant in my fridge. What should I make that takes under one hour? So it's giving us this recipe called chicken capressi with eggplant. And yes, it does take under one hour. So it's gonna give us the ingredients, instructions. Bam, we can create this dish using those ingredients. You can also use it for advice. So let's say, for example, I don't have olive oil. What should I replace it? With. So it's going to give us some substitutes. We can be even more detailed. Let's say I have those same ingredients above, but I want something that incorporates uh, rice. So now it's going to redo that, but make it have rice instead. And bam, we have this ingredient list. I will say sometimes it can make mistakes. So you'll want to make sure that the proportions seem okay. But even if you don't want to use this ingredient list, we can basically just copy and paste this, go to all recipes or whatever it is, and find a recipe that actually has reviews behind it. So yeah, again, in this case, we are role playing. We're saying that ChatGPT is a chef and we're basically asking it for advice. So yeah, those are basically 12 ChatGPT hacks that will blow your mind. For a majority of people watching this, most of these things will be applicable to your life. So I really encourage you guys to actually take action, use the things we talked about in this video. And yeah, it should save you a ton of time. It will be a little bit weird at first to implement ChatGPT into all these different things within your life. So I basically just recommend have ChatGPT open on your computer at all times. Get the app as well and just make it really a habit to use ChatGPT for pretty much everything. If you do this more and more, it's going to become a habit. And I guarantee you things in your life are just going to move way faster, way more efficiently. And overall, your quality of life should get better. Overall, I think ChatGPT is an amazing tool. I think that everyone should be using it. If you have the funds, I definitely recommend upgrading. There are some really great features with the paid plan. The responses you get are better. And they also have a ton of different plugins that have really specialized functionality. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this this can encourage you guys to use ChatGPT more. Thank you so much for your time. If you guys want some free stocks, we'll leave a link down below to Weeble and Moomoo. Moo. Those are for a limited time only, so make sure to take advantage of that. Or if you want a high yield savings account, I'll put a link to SoFi down below. You can also get up to $250 for free when you sign up and set up direct deposit. If you guys got some value from this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.